शो मित्र वरुण शो भवत्म शो बृहस्पति शो विष्णुक्रम नमो ब्रह्मणे नमस्ते वायो वायमे प्रचक्ष ब्रह्मासी तामे प्रचक्ष ब्रह्म वदिष्या कृतम वदिष्या सत्यम वदिष्या तन्मावत तद्वक्तावत अवत मं अवत वक्ता ओं शांति 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 नौ वी आर् गोयिंग टू दि अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट सेक्शन ऑफ दि एस्ट्रॉजी स्पिरिचुअल एस्ट्रॉजी हाउ डू प्लैनेट्स वर्क देर आर फोर आर फाइव लेक्चर्स फोर आर फाइव पैराग्राफ्स इन दिस चाप्टर and this is very important to understand uh, this chapter of course i explained most of the things already but since we are going in a systematic way i will touch these points also so i will i will try to understand uh, point by point death is not an incident at all but it is only a stop of incidents this is very important to understand then you may ask me what is the relationship between the death and the astrology death is also a part of life and again we are born in some other country or some other place again we will die again we will born again we will die this is what we call samsara with all the attachments so people fear, people they fear about death and many of many people in the humanity they are conscious of death they will have the fear of death out of fear of death and conscious of death uh, they create their own life always thinking about the death so there is a wonderful book we printed in the vowels messages the light upon the death the the lectures given by the master they are very very beautiful lectures everybody has to read that book the light upon the death and uh, master jalkul also mentions mention uh, about death the art of dying the preparation for death there are many uh, articles on uh, the sayings uh, and teachings of master jol kul on art of dying and uh, preparation for death this is the uh, a training aspect unless you are aware of death and the nature of death the beauty of the death the beauty of what is beauty of the death yes by the time we can leave the body in a yogic way without having any illusions in the mind without having any detachments uh, without any attachments in the mind and if you leave the body happily with a total attachment and fully aware and finally when the death then the time of death comes to us and we will be waiting for the next birth to continue the same plan what we continued in this life so this is how a person in the six root race they live their entire life and they select their next birth the father and the mother and the country and the what he has to read and what about his marriage in the next birth all the things he decide in this birth also before 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 his death and then he leaves the body he will not die he leaves the physical body and enter into the another physical body so this is what the master used to always tell us about the death that's why in the horoscope also when we show our horoscope so generally we will ask the people ask the astrologers and what about my death and how it will be in the what is the end of my life all these things when we come into the spiritual astrology we don't we we won't ask uh, we don't ask all these things we don't uh, ask any prediction about the death because when once we enter into the consciousness level the soul level death becomes it, it death becomes not an incident but it is only a stop in this life it is like a transit from one uh, one uh, gate to another gate or one country to another country like that 
This method is useful to know all the incidents before death and also spiritual aspects. More importantly, the guidance for the soul, guidance for in initiation, and the nature of obstacles that are awaiting your spiritual progress, and the method of overcoming these obstacles. What we will do by by understanding about the death, Master telling, it is useful to know all the incidents before death. So when we go through the horoscope. With the spiritual astrology background, we will understand the, all the incidents before the death. All the incidents means there may be some problems, some obstacles, some good luck, some bad luck, and people come, people who are around us. Some people help us. Some people they become the enemies. Some incidents occur in our life. Some incidents are very good. Some incidents are very bad. We may fall ill after some time. We become a patient, or with suffering some suffering with some disease. If we know all these incidents before the death, that is that is very important. We have to understand the incidents in our life before the death, before we leave this physical body in this particular birth. Then we can plan the life according to that. That is the most important. That is that is that is the most important. So I will tell you a small example. Suppose if he knows that he is going to die within two years, for example, he is eight years old man, a Roman, oh, whatever it may be. Let us say like that, eight years is a very good age. Eight years is a old man, and uh, he is suffering with some health problems. And then he, if he approaches the astrologers, he asks the astrologers, "How long?" Uh, I live. Generally, astrologers they hesitate to tell the the time of uh, birth. Generally, astrologers they won't tell. He asked the doctor. Doctor, tell me very frankly. I'm not asking with any fear. I wanted to plan certain things and uh, how long I can live with this problem. The doctor says you can live happily two years. Then you have to think about uh, that later how the medicines are working with you or anything. Anyhow, two years is guarantee for you. The two two ways of understanding here. One is two years is two year two years is guaranteed for you. Either one 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 uh, suggestion from the doctor, and if the medicines work, uh, you may prolong. Uh, that the second version. A real spiritual man. He cares about the doctor's advice. He can live only for two years. That's it. He doesn't care about the other things. He take all the precautions about his health. It's okay. This is the part of yoga. It is discipline to maintain a good physical body. It is discipline. So, when the time comes into the picture, he thinks about the two years, and then he rearranges his life. Rearrange, rearranges his priorities in his life, and then he chalk out a program to complete the work what he wanted to do, and he focuses totally on that work. And continue with it, and then he doesn't care whether he dies or not. Within two years, he plan in such a way to complete everything. That is the true way of living a spiritual life or a yogic life. For that, we have to understand the, from the astrology what are the incidents occur in our life before we go into the death. Are the spiritual aspects more importantly the guidance for the soul? Guidance for initiation and the nature of obstacles they are awaiting. All these things he wanted to know. What the guide? What is the guidance for the soul? What I have to do to take a journey into the spiritual path? Guidance for initiation. What is initiation here? Don't misunderstand. Initiation means that some guru will come and give some mantra or meditation or some pranayama or some uh, sacred syllable. It is also initiation, but. In the kingdom of the masters, especially with Master Jawal Kool and Master E K, initiation means Jawal Kool has given a meaning to initiation. Initiation means to go in, antar muka in Sanskrit, to go inside, from the outer world slowly and slowly and slowly coming into the inner world, and from the physical level to the vital level, an initiation, from the vital level to the mental level, another initiation. When we cross the mental level to the buddhic level, another initiation. From the buddhic level to nirvanic plane, another initiation. Like that, what we 
go from one plane to another plane in our consciousness it is called the initiation exactly what master jwal kul uh, says in his uh, books so we have to understand that how to go from one initiation to another initiation that means we have if you take the five elements for example from at the level at the levels means to possess the possessiveness all the material things he go to the emotion the astral level emotional level there he will find his emotions love and affection all these things and from there he go to the mental level to the intellectual level discrimination will come he will have his own ideas he will have his own understanding about the people about himself about the people about society he will have some ideals and if you go to the buddhic plane what happens after that and he will get the discrimination like that from the material plane he go to the water plane water planes means it's reflections and germination and also emotions from water to he go to the fiery level in fiery level he touches the ego and he try to understand what what is i am and we so ambitious he try to do something and he try to achieve something all these things is fiery fiery nature it is the fiery nature fiery aspiration is it is a fiery temperament and then generally from there we go to the airy temperament yeah, what is the what is the what is the what is the quality of the air the expansion reading lot of books understanding so many cultures meeting so many people after reading the books we will try to gather all the commonness in all the scriptures of the world and he will meet so many great people in their guidance he will try to expand his consciousness that is the in the uh, air level and then he go to the space level in space he realizes he himself is a space so i explain to you in a simple way this is the way how to travel in the spiritual journey in the, in the, in, the, in the life of yoga in the path of yoga from one element to another element from that element to another element we we can travel from any branch from any way okay so this is what this is something about the initiation uh, when time comes i will explain you about the five initiations how we will we will be into the first initiation how we will come to the second initiation how we will come to the third initiation how people will go to the fourth initiation they are called adepts and then finally with the fifth initiation they will become the masters from there it goes like that from there deva kingdom will come with the picture so for initiation and the nature of obstacles that are awaiting your prog- your spiritual progress in the method of overcoming these obstacles some spiritual obstacles from nature of obstacles that are awaiting your spiritual progress so unless there are obstacles we cannot go further it is, it is not a path so easy and happy path spiritual path if you see the life of master jesus or if you see the life of master buddha lord buddha or if you see the life of any great master they they cross they cross, they cross many many obstacles in the life but we cannot cross all those obstacles they are very dangerous dangerous obstacles so unless we cross those obstacles we cannot go into the next layer of the consciousness we have to understand what type of obstacles we will we have to come across and your spiritual progress and the method of overcoming these obstacles we will, we have to also know how to overcome the obstacles the method also for that purpose this method is used in india the method of calculating given in popular astrology give only rough outlines in the breakthrough astrology they will give only the rough out, rough, uh, rough rough outlines but if you what we discussed here if you want to know all these things we have to go to the spiritual astrology not to the popular astrology so we cannot rely much upon popular methods we want a method which is directive and predictive because we have the various levels according to which the planets work with us mas is suggesting a beautiful thing here uh, without any confusion the beauty of the master's writings is he will not give any error any gap to understand uh, he, he explains everything very clear when we are talking all the time about the spiritual astrology we may develop uh, some inferior uh, what is it um, thing about the predictive astrology we may think no no predictive astrology is nothing and we want only spiritual astrology but something happens in our life 
we need the guidance where you will go where i will go we have to go to the predictive astrologers because something is going wrong in the life we are not able to decide what to do and we are not able to decide in which line we have to go in which way we have to go and we are not able to decide for ourselves and then we have to go to the astrologer and we have to take his advice what is going going now and what are the planets are ruling now and what are the planetary periods now and what i have to do so it is a must don't uh, think ill about uh, predictive astrology don't think it is not it is totally useless that's why mass is telling we want a method which is directive and predictive because we have the various levels according to which the planets work with us we have to know the astrology from both predictive and directive it is should neither predictive nor directive it is both predictive and directive because we need a direction first and then prediction next so prediction also prediction only with the mundane things not with the spiritual things the spiritual things we cannot predict but we can also predict spiritual things as direction suppose in which way how to go in the karma yoga or the jnana yoga or the bhakti yoga or towards the aquarian age or in the orthodox way or in a modern way so these are the things we can deal in with astrology in which way which the what way is very useful for me this is very important in the spiritual astrology part if somebody knows how to read the spiritual astrology of any individual first he will direct you he will direct us to go through this path it is very easy for you if you go through this path it is a little bit difficult for you we will explain that is uh, that is uh, this is about how to plan a life in this particular life before we are going to die this is the essence of this lesson i will explain to you about the other how planets work on us in my next lecture thank you all